Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to my channel. Um, I've been using this uh, GoPro for about six months, and also recently they uh, put uh, the new generation on the market. After started using this, I found something uh, not uh, comfortable, and I uh, made some videos. Today we just like uh, summarize um, what my thought about this product. I'm going keep using uh, this camera there's a uh, two reason um, one is very easy to carry it's very small and you can put any pocket on your backpack it's so easy and uh, simple to use second reason is um, the stabilizer for this camera is very very good for my opinion uh, you can see my uh, video uh, the clip, see how good it is. One concern about uh, um, overheat, um, my experience is uh, if you put uh, the camera in any condition, if there's no airflow, it will overheat. But for my case, if you camera is moving or get some airflow, outside uh, the window or on the bike or on the helmet um, looks like it's okay so you can continue shoot for quite a long time i did one testing in the office there's about say, 30 minutes uh, recording time there's another one i'm really, really not comfortable not comfortable with uh, what the gopro did is um, video output there's no video output image on another screen. Okay, the GoPro 9 and GoPro 10 come with um, a port looks like USB-C, but it is kind of modified GoPro USB-C. It's not what we are familiar with, like um, you have a tablet, you have your smartphone with a USB-C, in those USB-C, you can use this kind of USB-C adapter to get uh, um, HDMI output. Simple way to get uh, your smartphone or tablet to your TV. But uh, this GoPro USB-C port, you can link it. There's no signal like a regular USB-C support has. You have to buy this medium mount, $79 plus tax to get uh, HDMI signal out. Once again, without the media mount, you cannot get HDMI signal out from this camera, the GoPro 9 or 10. Um, that's what I did testing, that's the result. Thank you for watching, bye. 